physical postures, the stretching, the exercises, the movements, the breathing techniques, the relaxation techniques, these are an important component. That's working the body to affect um, our global functioning. Another critical area is the idea of self-regulation, the ability to control our internal stress response, to control our emotion response. This is basically reflected as resilience to stress and equanimity in the face of emotions, and that leads to a psychological self-efficacy. Another really key area is the cultivation of mind-body awareness. Um, the sense of being able to feel and experience what's going on in the body, and also to experience what's going on mentally, to be able to observe um, the flow of thought. Um, and this kind of cultivation of mind-body awareness leads to an increased mindfulness that can change behaviors in a very positive way. And then the final component, which is really reflecting the traditional origins of yoga, is the idea of experiencing these deeper states, um, these spiritual states, if you will, transcendent states. Uh, even if they're short term, these kinds of experiences that you get in deep meditation uh, can really be transformative for people and bring them to a positive lifestyle, to have them gravitate towards positive goals in life to improve and enhance uh, their life meaning and purpose. So yoga, it strengthens the power of the mind. And the more control we have in our mind, uh, in a sense of the conscious mind covering or actually controlling subconscious programs that take us off track, the more power we have in that mind, the more power we have in our life to control not just our physiology, but where we are in the world and how we connect with the rest of the world, because it's all through the nervous system. The biology that I teach, epigenetics, the new science, is all revealing that the mind is the ultimate control of our health and our biology. And we've been looking at genes as the issue. It turns out only 1% of illness is related to genes. 90% of illness is related to stress. And what's stress? It's the mind overworking in a sense of fear and, and just being lost in the world of so many things going on. And yoga brings it into a focus.